with you. I don't need help. A Pennsylvania state trooper now faces a slew of charges after he allegedly committed his ex-girlfriend to a mental institution knowing she didn't need help. The woman spent four days against her will in the treatment center. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Now, 37-year-old Ronald Davis, a veteran Pennsylvania state trooper, faces multiple charges, including felony strangulation, unlawful restraint, and false imprisonment. 37 years of my life, this has never happened to me. Ever. Four months after meeting you, I get tackled. That's real disgrace. According to court documents, Davis had been seeing Michelle Perfinov for about four months before the incident. Officials note he's married and has a family with someone else. But on August 19th, a fight between Davis and Perfinov broke out in Dauphin County, Pennsylvania, about two hours northwest of Philadelphia. Perfinov would later tell police that, quote, during the course of their relationship, that Davis made statements threatening to paint her as crazy. This included, I know you're not crazy, I'll paint you as crazy, and I know the law. The argument continued into August 20th and 21st, when Davis first alleged Perfinov was mentally unstable. Court documents show that while off-duty, Davis reported Perfinov was suicidal. He submitted texts to the Dauphin County Crisis Intervention that he said were problematic, including, quote, My mental health doesn't matter. I'm a useless, old, stupid, uneducated piece of explicative. If this is where I'm supposed to die, then so be it. And... I think I'm going to drive off a cliff. Davis used these texts as part of an involuntary mental health commitment, meaning Perfinov would be committed to an institution against her will for her safety. Court documents note Davis used his work email to submit this information. When officials were dispatched to conduct a welfare check on Perfinov, Davis allegedly said, quote, I'll take care of it myself. What did you have, what the, what is wrong with you? I don't need help. I need to get away from you. No. No. This is a normal. I don't care what anybody says. Can I please stand up? Okay. I'm not going to any jail. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not going anywhere. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This disturbing video was recorded after Davis was approved with the commitment form. He can be seen holding down Perfinov as she repeatedly asks what she did wrong. Court documents show the video was recorded by Carrie Teeter, who Davis had enlisted for help. What is wrong with you? Would you do this? <laughs> Would you? I thought. Okay, please let me go. You just called the cops on me. You're a cop, you're a f***ing What the f*** is wrong with you? <laughs> I've lived all over the world and not one time has anyone ever come up, tackled me, attacked me, and called the cops on me for existing in the woods. Never, ever. Court documents state, quote, Davis grabbed Perfinov and forcefully carried her from the picnic area to her vehicle. Both Davis and Perfinov ended up on the ground. All because of the consequences of your actions, you don't like the truth. That's not, people like you shouldn't have any form of power. But if you want to sit on me, and you call the cops on me, for what? For what? Oh, because I'm around a sociopath who says he can do whatever want women are objects that they never want. I'd be happy to tell them that. I'm, you're, 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 you're insane. You're absolutely insane. You're insane. Like, and then you pay me to look insane as I'm sitting on the ground with my head slammed into this and that by a cop who called the cops on me. Do you realize how insane you are? Can you please get off of me? You can you can't just walk up to someone and attack them and then call the cops on them and say you're going to, like, uh-uh, that's not okay. Get off of me. You just called the cops on me for existing. What the f*** is wrong with you? Like, I don't understand what the f*** I was thinking. In 
the video, Perfinov alleges Davis is restraining her because she disagreed with him. What the fuck are you doing? I don't need help. I just need to get away from you. That's the problem. I mean, I don't know why you don't like when your truth, I just tell it back to you. Like, I don't know why you don't like that. But that's, this is unacceptable behavior. <sighs> totally unacceptable. What the f Like, come on, dude. <sighs> what is wrong with you? Who does that? You don't give a shit about anything except yourself. And if this is caring, you have a very f delusional way of expressing it. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong except disagree with you. Court docs also read in part, quote, Throughout viewing the footage, Perfinov appears to genuinely lack understanding on why she's being restrained. Throughout the video, Perfinov can be heard saying she didn't do anything wrong. What did I do? Please stop. Get me into like a tree like a human being, please. Can you do that? Can I stand here and put my things together? You can watch me all you want. You can watch me all you want. That's not fair. And I didn't do anything wrong to get away from you. I don't understand. Relax. And I can't relax. You just called the guns on me for existing. I didn't like your droop. Jesus, dude. Come on. What the fuck? What? Why are you treating me like I'm a criminal? I didn't do it. I just want to be able to stand. You can call them back and find out where they are. Okay. Here, call them. I just want to be able to stand. This isn't fair. I'll, I'll talk. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do. Why are you getting worried? Why are you getting worried? After that, Davis can be heard asking for law enforcement to hurry up. Okay, tell them to step it up. She is fighting me and assaulting me. I don't me. know what. Tell I didn't them do to hurry it. up. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. You can't take me against my will. I didn't do anything wrong. As the video continues, Perfinov again says she didn't do anything wrong except leave Davis. I can't make up that I assaulted you. I just didn't agree with your truth. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I just left. Like, I don't understand. Perfinov later told law enforcement that Davis acted erratically during their relationship by shutting off the power to the camper where she lives and locking sheds to prevent her from getting her personal belongings. I don't understand. Please, stop. Please stop so I can get the hair out of my face. That would be really nice. Please. Why? Can I just get the head out of my face? Can I stand here? Yes. Can I just stand yep. and get my arms back? Yep. As the video continues, Perfinov can be heard saying she can't breathe. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? There we go. I mean, happy I don't even lie right here. I didn't agree with the truth. <laughs> I feel like I'm my own thing in the car. Why? I didn't do anything. What the f I didn't do anything wrong. Can I, you're, you're around my stomach again. 
I ain't touching you. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. For more than 10 minutes, Perfinov fights back, saying she is not in the wrong. You cannot take me against my will for a domestic dispute that's not even in your handbook. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand what you tried to paint of me. I don't know what happened. I, I don't, I just, I, I, I don't know. What is wrong with you? I don't know what, like, well, what do you, what's gonna happen here? What, what did you do just attack me? What, what is that going on? What is happening? Why? I don't, like, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Eventually, Pennsylvania state troopers arrive on the scene. Court documents show Perfinov was, quote, transported to Lehigh Valley Hospital in Schuylkill County based on involuntary mental health commitment. She was admitted and held until she was released on August 25th. When investigators looked through Perfinov's texts, they, quote, were not able to identify any suicidal or homicidal threats or ideations. Officials later determined she had injuries and bruising to her forehead, torso, back, buttocks, forearm, knee, and lower leg. They say the injuries are consistent with Davis pinning her to the ground. One month after the incident, on September 21st, Davis appeared for a preliminary arraignment. After reviewing both the criminal complaint and video, a Dauphin County judge ruled he be held without bail. He's due back in court next month. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.